I'm genuinely a man right now. Chat, am I a man? Yes or no, bro? No. Unfortunately, guys, Neon has just been released from Dubai jail and he's actually back. He's back spreading his little neon germs all across the internet like a little virus. Turns out he spent a total of 37 hours in prison and he somehow grew a beard and put on a wife beater in that time and he's evolved into this new person apparently. Anyways, he made a comeback stream explaining what happened and let's just say he, he definitely did get humbled. Personally, I don't think I'm satisfied with 37 hours here. That's like two days. And while he did spend his time like crying in there, it seems, I feel like it's not very much in the grand scheme of things. He even said that he's actually going back to Dubai soon, so clearly he's not learned his lesson at all. And it appears he lost his bodyguard too, so this time, let's just say that when you F around, you're definitely gonna find out real bad. I'm gonna tell you guys, bro. I'm gonna tell you guys exactly what happened, bro. I wanna first, first, first and foremost to start the stream, give a special... Sorry, that's disrespectful. I want to give a special shout out to Dubai. Everyone spam up W Dubai in the chat. They really, 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 really looked out for me, bro. And they made sure that I, I, I got out safely and everything was okay. W Dubai, everyone spam it up. W Dubai, bro. W Dubai. W Dubai. There's a lot of flooding and stuff going on there. I, I really hope they get they get good and, shit and uh, the water gets sunk or drained out and all that shit. And I hope it gets better, bro, because that's there's a lot, it's a little, really sad. But um, W Dubai, man, for real. Um, I really appreciate them. So, as you guys know, uh, first off, first off, first off, first off, first off, why the f*** is everyone saying I died, bro? Why is everyone going around saying I died, bro? Who's starting these rumors, bro? Who the f*** in this chat started that rumor? Who did it, bro? Okay, so a little bit of context here. Basically, a lot of tweets were going viral saying that Neon actually died. Basically, there was this flood in Dubai and people are just kind of farming impressions for that Twitter ad revenue. Here's one of the tweets that actually went viral. Kickstreamer Neon has been pronounced dead this afternoon in a Dubai jail cell due to the severe flooding. Prayers are sent to his family and may he rest in peace. And then we just got a picture of him smiling and then the floods. Just on all, yeah. I don't know about you, but I, I don't really spot Neon in this video, but yeah, there was definitely a flood. It got community noted here. There's been no confirmation of this. This post is baiting attention with a shocking unverified claim. Anyways, obviously he's still alive. I don't actually think he's mad about these rumors considering he faked his own death to start his career. So you were doing this shit 10 years ago before it was popular, okay? So I don't know how he could possibly be mad about this. You pretty much encouraged this behavior and that's kind of what you built your community on. Anyways, he explains that the reason he got arrested is because he was illegally filming. Something I pointed out in my last video. I mean, it was pretty obvious. So, uh, basically, chat, what happened was, um, JCV, the sped, um, you know, you know him, idiot. Um, my cameraman, basically, um, I'm not gonna put the blame on him, but, um, you know, we did some, some not good activities there, man, you know, uh, it was not, it was not good what we did, and, um, we, um, we, we were filming in the, um, in the areas where we're not supposed to film, and it was not a good situation. It was not a good scenario. Uh, it really wasn't. So, um, basically what happened is, um, um, Okay, this guy has severe mental deficiencies, dude. I didn't I didn't pause that by the way. He just randomly stopped talking and started scratching his beard. I don't know what the fuck I am watching. Uh it's like a squirrel, you know, just itching themselves randomly. It's a, it's a bit unnerving. And listen, I'm not the best at explaining situations or anything like that, but the way he does it is so unbelievably brain dead. The amount of ums and the amount of like just no straight thought process at all. I don't know what kind of shit is going. There's like a monkey clapping in his brain at all times. Who describes a situation of illegally filming in Dubai as we did some not so good activities there, guys? That could mean anything, dude. You could you could have kidnapped somebody. Holy shit. Talk like a normal human. So basically what happened is um, we were recording in the areas that's not good. And, um, where is Sam? Shut up. It was all JCV? Nah, bro, because I put him in the situation. And then, chat, the, the real situation was we, we accidentally filmed the cops, bro. We act- the, the sped, like, his eyes were popping wide open filming the cops where he was, like, excited, bro. I don't know what the f*** he was doing, bro. The idiot filmed the cops. It wasn't his fault, though. I don't blame him. I take full accountability. It was my fault. And honestly, things could have been a lot worse, but I, I, I really appreciate, um, I really appreciate all the people who try to, um, who try to make sure I was good, man. A lot of people reaching out. A lot of people- I'm not clone, shut up. But yeah, bro, like, a lot of people were there for me and shit. A lot of people reached out, and a lot of people actually 
went fake on me, bro. A lot of people didn't come out, look out for me, didn't try to help. None of that shit, bro. And, hey, trust me, I know who you are, you piece of shit. I have very, very small friends, bro. I have a very, very small friend group. But, um, you know, first things first, uh, my security guard did get fired. Uh, I'm not going to speak on that, really, but um, I'm going I'm, I'm, I'm to just say it out as he left me at the airport. So, um, yeah, he's fired until further notice. I need a new security guard. Okay, that's absolutely hilarious. I, I, I don't know if it's the same security guard that was yelling at him in the car for being a complete moron. But honestly, I don't blame him, okay? His own security does not respect him at all. In the last video, we saw that clip of him just screaming at him. And then Neon closes the door, makes sure that the guard can't hear him and starts swearing at him when he can't hear him anymore. Real man shit right there. Make sure they can't hear you and then start mouthing off. Anyways, the security guard apparently left him at the airport and that is just uh, fantastic. I would have done the same. And you heard it here first, folks. Neon has no security guards anymore i wonder how that's gonna turn out i'm just saying until you hire another group of absolutely massive security guards i think you're gonna have to double up this time i would say you know my genuine advice uh do not step out of your house okay i just know somebody somewhere on the internet has put a bounty on this guy's head okay there's uh, somebody out there is hunting you down trust me so i'd probably just lock myself in my room if i were you also another shocking revelation by neon when you film the cops illegally and lie to them you get arrested just just unbelievable i could never have told you that it's also it's almost like the consequences of your own actions who could have thought i mean let's be honest you got to be completely brain dead to go to dubai and mess with the police there you you thank your lucky stars you got only 37 hours in prison that could have easily been a year or more now in this next part he describes the jail situation and i i, I just don't believe him at all I was in that uh, behind bars for probably like approximately like 37 hours or some shit. Um, but you know the funny thing, chat? The funny thing is the down there knew me, bro. They knew me, chat. I was literally welcomed. I was a king in there, bro. I was a king. They were giving me free like free beds and shit. like it was fire, bro. It was fire. It honestly made me look at things different. I swear to God, I was ready to I was ready to just chill there with the boys, bro. Some guy was telling me some other shit he did. Like I was just really hearing their stories and getting to know them, bro. And then there was this black dude with a scar, bro. It was really really fire. Um, I, I, I swear to God, I swear to God, I swear to God. This is the equivalent of your parents telling you those stories of how they got to school, of how, how they like climbed the Himalayas and, you know, punched a lion and somehow got to school with their like foot broken or something. I, I, you know, you know what really makes me believe people when they say, I swear to God, I swear to God, I swear to God, three times in a row while reading uh, stream chat, that really makes me believe you. Now, audience question here, does any sane individual who is not perpetually on Neon's cock actually think that this guy was treated like a god in prison does anybody actually think this f***ing guy has any street cred in prison nah you are delusional you suffer from mental illness if you think that's in any capacity plausible at all the only story i would actually believe is that he dropped the soap and got pegged in jail that is, that is somewhat plausible they all knew me bro they all knew me on oh, god wallahi wallahi everything i say is truth everything i say is the truth they knew me bro it was really really cool it was honestly, chat, it showed me genuinely that actions have consequences, bro. Actions have consequences. You can't go around in Dubai, the most safe and respected place ever, recording whatsoever, like whatever, thinking I could just get away with it. I I, I, chat, I thought I was invincible, bro. I thought I was invincible. But in reality, look at me. I'm a little piece of shit, bro. I'm a piece of shit, chat. All right? And it really made me realize, and I swear to God, chat, you're going to see a whole different side of me, bro. Not this like whatever just do whatever i want all this whatever like i'm 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 really going to think before i do now bro cuz i realize that actions have consequences bro dead ass bro i can't believe it this guy had to go to prison in dubai to learn that actions have consequences what a fucking idiot man i am so glad that i live in this day and age where i can witness these people live out their lives it's really like a free reality tv show it's a free comedy that we get to watch except it's an actual real person that i still can't believe is real next thing he's gonna learn that two plus two is four but first he has to travel back in time and have a conversation with archimedes so after this he says that he quote unquote got humbled and that it changed him and uh i think it definitely taught him something for sure i mean he looks pretty rough now i'd say but uh, I'm not sure I'm, I'm buying the whole, like, oh, I'm a new person now. Deadass. It humbled me, bro. I didn't think anyone could even touch me or do anything to me, bro. I'm a 
idiot, bro. I'm genuinely an idiot and I'm stupid, bro. And it's my fault. It's my fault, bro. It's my fault, bro. I take full accountability, bro. I really do. Also, you guys know, obviously, bro, Sam was there from through everything, bro. Through literally everything. Can we get a W Sam real quick, bro? W Sam in the chat, guys. W Sam. I, I really genuinely hope that you guys get married. That's a lovely minus 50% right there. What a lovely relationship, by the way. Clout Hungry OnlyFans girl and Clout Hungry IRL streamer. It's truly a match made in heaven. I think they deserve each other. Anyways, this next part kind of pissed me off. He talks about how worried his parents were about him, and it, it really feels like he doesn't actually give a shit about them. You know, I'm just happy to be home, bro. I'm happy to be home. My mom and dad were didn't know what was going on in a whole other country. They were stressed, panicking. They didn't know what the f to think. I know a lot of you guys probably thought it was a script or all this but in reality, it was real life, bro. Real shit happened. I f***ed up. I made mistakes. And uh, it is what it is, bro. You look sick. I mean, I mean, look at me, bro. Chat, realistically, I haven't showered in, like, a lot of days, bro. A lot of days, bro. I heard my mom, like, she didn't even tell me this. You're probably watching the stream. I, I heard my mom fainted at home. Like, I, it was just crazy, bro. I don't know, bro. My dad flew out to make sure I was good. It was a whole thing, man. And, um... Man, can you imagine having Neon as your son? Dude, I would curse the Lord every single day of my life. Imagine doing everything you can to raise your lovely child and he grows up and becomes Neon. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's a fate worse than death, dude. But honestly, worrying your mom and dad like that is just so cringe. He doesn't really understand yet that there's people that actually care about him and are, you know, family and friends or something and not just streamers trying to suck his pee pee and get clout off him or something. Your mom freaking fainted because of you, dude. I'd feel so guilty if that happened and it was like due to my own stupidity or something. Your dad also seems to care about you. I mean, flying out to another country for your delinquent son. That's definitely more than I'd do. I, I'd pretty much disown this piece of trash ASAP and uh, move on to the next one, pretty much. So from what I hear, they're actually like decent good parents over here and it's just uh, unfortunate that they got Neon as a son over here. After this, he brags about his viewership, but again, I'm very sus about him and his fucking bots. I'm gonna do a little interview. We got 90k in here? What the f Um, oh my God, bro. <sighs> Yes! 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 Oh my god! <laughs> <coughs> Holy shit. Look at them spamming bots. Alright, bro. Like, I get out of di I, I, chat. I'm literally like back home after 10 days and you guys are literally- Can we stop this rumor, bro? Please. If you're a real person, spam the number one. If you're a bot, spam the number two. Let's see. Let's end this once and for all, bro. Let's end this once and for all, chat. If you're a real person, one. If you're a bot, two. What a wonderful strategy to check if your 90,000 viewers are bots. Uh, what are you gonna do? Count the f***ing number of ones on stream? Are you, are you an idiot? Now, listen, if Neon actually has 90k viewers live, then I am a professional ballerina and my name is Tutu. This dude is the most obvious botter to ever exist. I mean, it's pretty much an open secret. Everybody knows that he bots his view count and it's actually pathetic. I mean, just going to his YouTube channel right now, latest video 46k views in a day and on the same day that you apparently got 90k viewers live i mean who is actually buying this shit that that math it ain't mathin unless your audience is blind or something and they can't click the link to youtube you're probably just talking to a bot farm in all honesty this video that's making fun of you will probably get more views than your previous five videos combined, maybe 10. And uh, I'm completely irrelevant, so that's just sad for you. Now, I know that streaming viewership doesn't fully translate to YouTube and stuff like that, but I, I feel like it would definitely be more than 40k views over here, especially on his, like, comeback video that all of his fans are, like, desperately waiting for, right? Now, I don't know how much his real viewership actually is on stream. I'd say, like, 10 10k at a generous estimate over here. Definitely not 90k. I'm genuinely a man right now. Chat, am I a man? Yes or no, bro? Am I a man? No. Let me know. I swear to God, after all this happened, I am a man. Nope, not even close. Starting from tomorrow, the normal streams will resume. I am back for good and I'm never leaving you guys. I don't give a if I have one viewer, 10 viewer, a million viewers. I don't give a I am never leaving you. Ever, bro. No, God, please, no, no, no. 
Oh my god, dude. This guy is such a cockroach, man. He cannot he cannot go. Like he cannot disappear. Even after getting jailed in Dubai. That's not enough to get get him off the internet and to make him stop doing this cringe ass content, dude. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, sadly, it does seem that he is back to his regular shenanigans over here. But uh I do think I get a little shout out in this next part, kinda. But I've been when I've been gone, I've been talking shit about me, bro. A lot of people, bro. A lot of people and I'm sick of it, bro. I'm sick of it. I'm literally sick of it. So when I come back tomorrow, I'm on demon timing, bro. I'm on demon timing, bro. You know who you are, you piece of shit. I'm, I'm not going to say anything right now, but I'm on demon timing, bro. I swear to God, bro. I'm on demon timing. Oh, no. Shiver me timbers. Neon's on demon time, guys. Ah, <laughs> ah, it's so scary. I have no idea who he's actually talking about here. If your only information you give to identify someone is people that make fun of Neon and people that call him out, that does not narrow it down at all. That's like half the internet over there. Anyways, I would actually love to see him actually try to respond to any of the arguments being made against him or any of his behavior, try to justify it. That would be actually hilarious to see him even attempt to justify any of the dumb bullshit that he's actually done. Anyways, he ends off the video by saying that Jail actually humbled me and that he's a changed man now. I swear to God, chat, jail humbled me, bro. It humbled me. Wherever the f I was, whatever it's called, it humbled me, bro. It humbled me. It made me realize that I'm not untouchable. I'm a human, and I f have to deal with consequences. All right, chat. Chat, I swear to God, bro. I know I'm a grown man, but a grown man cry too. I swear to God, wallahi, on my mother's heartbeat, my mother strikes dead right now. I cried. I, I, I cried. I cried. I was shaking, and I cried. I swear to God. I swear to God. I cried, bro. I cried. I cried and I was shaking. On God, I was shaking. I didn't piss myself, but I was shaking. Okay, he, he definitely pissed himself then. Uh, I wish we caught that one on camera. Neon crying as he's dragged into a jail cell. That would, dude, I would pay some good money for that clip. I'd pay a solid... 50k for that actually that's like a diamond clip okay so neon is back right everybody is so freaking excited uh let's see what his fan base thinks about this i'm sure they're so happy that he's back like let's go to his own youtube channel on his own video and look at the comments under that with his uh negative dislike ratio video of course all right this is gonna be fun dude went to jail for three minutes and came out with the beard and a wife beater on bro spent five minutes in jail got his cheeks clapped and came <laughs> with a ptsd beard oh my lord the cheeks clapped it's actually impressive how fast they cloned him so that's one of the theories floating around in the neon community basically uh they they got him you know they got his ass in dubai right you know they locked him up and they basically the the theory they're speculating is that they eliminated him and replaced him with a clone and that's the one we're seeing here right now but here's my argument to that you cannot clone this much of a fucking idiot like it's like there is no amount of dna science you could possibly do to reproduce a neon he is a special one of a kind, unique human being, okay? I'm trying my best to not violate TOS here, but let's just say he is one in a million, one in a billion type type beat over here. Everyone who wished he did more time in jail. This is your fan base, bro. This is literally your comment section over here. This is sad, man. I can't imagine the other corners of the internet. Now, in the video, Neon also mentioned that he's looking for a new security guard, right? So people commenting, yo, bro, Neon, I'm a 19-year-old kid who has had experience as a bouncer. I know what it's like and I can definitely take care of you. Let me know if you need a security guard still. This is definitely not somebody who wants to beat you up, guys. I I'd say just hire this guy. Hire him immediately. Baby alien grew up. Okay. Anyways, Neon is back, but at least he did actually go to jail. That is now officially confirmed. It wasn't faked or anything like that. But anyways, let me know what you guys thought of uh, Neon's little return over here. I can't wait till he does more dumb shit. But uh, see you guys till next time. Uh, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.